Hello everyone and uh, welcome to the review of the XKX300 uh, Today I'm going to maiden flight it outdoors for the first time You can uh, see it uh, flying indoors already on my channel But uh, uh, I want to see how it compares outside, how the optical flow sensor works outside Especially uh, now that uh, it's all white so this should be a bit troublesome for this kind of positioning system it's also very cold and windy so it will be kind of an extreme test so enough with the dock now i'm going to turn it on first i'm going to put it down up somewhere to be level and i'm gonna power on the fpv monitor first FPV monitor is on Now I'm going to power on the quad Power on the transmitter And bind it with throttle up throttle down Now it's binded And I have also video image I'm going to start the recording Internal camera is now uh, recording I hope that you can see that It's in 60% uh, Rate mode, so I'm going to arm the motors with the command uh, with the combination command with two sticks outward, both down. And if I throttle it up, it's now in position hold. As you can see, it's fighting the wind. The wind is blowing from that direction, and it's very stable let's see how it flies I'm going to do some uh, slow passes first The wind is really messing it up, but if I let go of the sticks, it will uh, lock into position. Now it's on uh, lock mode. If I take it upward, it's still in lock mode. Let's see if an up. Now it has lost uh, visual tracking, as you can see the wind is taking it away So I'm going to bring it back And if I lower the altitude Enough It will once again lock into position So uh, Position hold Works extremely well, even in uh, windy weather let's uh, get some uh, video from it I'm going to do a few flybys I'm also going to select 100% rate mode because it really needs a lot more power to fight the wind That is just the wind that's taking it away As you can see it flying really fast But now on a full throttle you can see upwind is still very fast
let's see its uh, battery status so I'm going to bring it closer and lower and it's now in position lock you can see how stable it is it's uh, the wind current uh, that uh, makes it uh, change position because the wind goes that direction if I stay in uh, the course of the wind it will compensate and then go back to its position you can see it has some really big tilt there and it still has battery and it's also very fast look at that speed it's flying beautiful it's just beautiful very stable and uh, looking at the FPV monitor the image it's not shaky at all it looks brilliant I really like uh, this model I really like it uh, only downside until now is uh, the fact that uh, when the camera is uh, recording the frame rate of the FPV transmission drops and uh, it's something like uh, 20 frames per second or something like that so if you want to fly it FPV uh, just FPV then uh, you must not record because the image will be too choppy for executing FPV maneuvers with it but uh, if you just want to have some uh, orientation when you fly using the FPV then uh, it won't be a problem And according to the video recording, I'm already flying for uh, 8 minutes and it's still flying perfectly normal. LEDs are uh, still steady, no uh, flashing LEDs, no nothing, so the battery still seems to have enough power. I think I'm going to fly it until uh, it has no more power. To find its uh, flight time what is interesting uh, about uh, this positioning is uh, that uh, each time when you use uh, the stick it automatically stops the tracking and uh, if the wind blows it into uh, direction and uh, if you want to go into another direction you you are going to obtain a combination of your uh, movement and the winds and it's a bit surprising because you see it very stable and you want to go straight ahead and the wind blows from one side it will not go straight ahead it will go just to straight ahead and to one side so 
so kind of diagonal. Uh, it's a bit surprising because uh, it's not like a GPS quad where uh, the position, uh, the heading is magnetic with the compass and uh, it will know if its deviation angle which is also correlated with uh, the GPS positioning so it's a bit uh, strange but it works nice very nice and it's still flying 10 minutes on the clock it's doing well As for the altitude hold, it's perfect, it's working perfectly, it doesn't need any kind of correction whatsoever, it simply works and that's all, don't need adjustments, it's not influenced by the wind, by the current, you can see it. it's just like a Phantom 3 when it's locked. No ups and downs, no side to side, nothing. It's hovering perfect, perfect. And we are nearing 12 minutes. It's zero degrees outside. It's still doing great. I think I'm going to do another pass. And there it goes. It still packs a lot of punch. No sign of low battery. Thirteen minutes, still doing fine. Still no flashing lights. 15 minutes already into this video. Still holding perfectly. Now it's flashing, so battery is low, let's see what it does, will it auto land or drop out of the sky, I'm going to move it over the snow, 
where it's software to, to land and I think it's going to auto land no it's still holding the position I'm going to save video it's on uh, 16 minutes now and it's still in the air and it has auto landed very nice very smart so it won't drop out of the sky it's just there on soft snow simply perfect and you can see how nice the LEDs are flashing that the battery is uh, depleted very nice I'm going to uh, shut down the recording I still got FPV so all things are wor still working right uh, don't forget always to save the video before powering off uh, the quadcopter because if you power it off from uh, the battery then uh, the video camera will not be able to properly close the video file and it could be corrupted so you will not be able to see it on your PC right, so this was the maiden flight of the XK X300 absolutely amazing I'm also going to upload some uh, additional footage from the camera in low light situations in uh, another video to see how it goes in, uh, in that uh, mode and uh, that's all for today until next time bye bye